What's up guys, r, &R Horror Hunter, aka Steve, back at you yet again with another video. And this is going to be a movie review, uh, I'm trying to branch out, I know my, uh, I know my channel name specifically mentions horror, but I'm really trying to branch out and do different reviews of other movies that aren't necessarily horror. Um, but, if y'all don't like that, I mean, you'll, I I'll know because I won't get a crap ton of views. Uh, or I'll, I'll get a lot of dislikes, or I'll get some angry comments with people threatening me uh, personally and wanting to kill me and my family. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, right now, I want to review the movie Meatballs, which I recently watched last night. It's the first time I ever watched this, uh, this movie. Well, actually, I can't say that. I watched part of it on IFC one day and absolutely loved it so i decided to rent it at hastings and yeah here i am so meatballs is a movie from 1979 starring bill murray uh in his first starring role in a feature film and yeah it is it's pretty cool overall uh the storyline of the movie is this zany um crazy kind of uh, camp counselor CIT, head CIT, I think, at uh, North Star, um, at North Star Summer Camp, that's what it's called, North Star Summer Camp, uh, he leads um, his group of miscreants uh, throughout a bunch of wild uh, experiences, and especially the final segment in the movie where they're taking on this rival camp. Uh, full of rich kids and crap like that, people who, of course, we all hate. Uh, we He leads his uh, camp against them in an Olympics, uh, kind of Olympic event, and uh, yeah, it's really funny, really funny overall. Uh, so what, what did I think of the film? I absolutely loved it. It is possibly one of my favorite feel-good comedies of all time. Uh, I love Meatballs so much. It is so fun to watch. Really, um, it may be one of my favorite Bill Murray um, uh, movies. And that's really saying a lot, because I really, really like Bill Murray. Bill Murray is a fantastic actor, and I really, really don't think you can get that much better with a comedy actor. Uh, the only person that really compares to Bill Murray, I think, is probably... Uh, um, Chris Farley. That's about it. Uh, he's really the only comedic actor who I think compares with Bill Murray. Uh, and Bill Murray has just such a wide uh, girth of uh, movies that he's been in. Uh, even, even movies that aren't necessarily comedy. But uh, that's enough about my love for Bill Murray. Let's just talk about the movie. I mean, it's got pretty good directing. Uh, there's even a couple really uh, interesting scenes, I think, in this movie uh, from a direction standpoint and a camera movement standpoint. Uh, like, there's a scene where uh, the main kid in the movie uh, is running through the woods in a, uh, in a race, and the camera tracks along his feet, and it's kind of shaky, and it's kind of on his face, and we're going fast by, and he's going fast by, and the thing is, it feels like, you know, you're running with him. I really like that part. I really, really do. I usually, I'm usually not a fan of any kind of shaky cam. I, I really hate that, actually. But it really, really works in this movie, and I really, really like what they did with it. Now, um, funny scenes. It's absolutely, it's a great movie. I really, really, really like it, because it's so funny. It's so feel-good. Um, you know... It, I think it started a whole lot of comedy tropes as well, and I really like that about a movie. If a movie can start a lot of comedy tropes, or, you know, tropes in that particular genre, you know, I'm happy with that. I really, really do like that. That's why I like Halloween so much. That's why I like um, uh, Psycho so much. You know, I just love that stuff. So, uh, that's really about all I can say about Meatballs. It's just a fun movie. I can't get over how much I like it. Uh, but yeah. It's really, really cool. If you haven't seen Meatballs, I'd definitely say check it out. Although I don't think there's many people who haven't seen Meatballs. 
So, uh, yeah, check Meatballs out. It's a fantastic movie. Give it a rental. Give it a buy. You know, Netflix it. It might be on Netflix. I'm not sure. Uh, I hear there are like four or five sequels or something like that. And I hear they're all terrible except maybe the second one. Um, yeah, I don't have any idea whether they're really good or not. Uh, but I'm pretty sure a lot of them are terrible. But anyway, let's go on and uh, finish up here. Really, I, I like Meatballs a lot, like I've said a million times. I just, I really, really like the movie. I, I can't recommend it enough. And, um, yeah, just it's so funny and so feel good at the end of it. And actually, I want to talk one more thing. I like the soundtrack a lot. A lot of people will say that the soundtrack's annoying, but I really like it. Anyway, let's get finished with this. Uh, Meatballs, 5 out of 5, one of my favorite comedies of all time. Rock on. If y'all like, subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.